Slavery underpinned the exploration of the Americas and the money that was made by Europeans in the Americas in the colonial era. Slavery was not just a Southern institution. It was an American institution. This story of enslavement in the colonial North is not a, a short time period. This is part of the development of America as we know it today. What made us profitable and wealthy was built on the backs of enslaved laborers. When an important story like slavery in the colonial North is left out because it doesn't contribute to people's good feelings, that shortchanges history and people's understanding of our past and how we came to be the way we are today. We have not healed from the history of slavery. It's easy for us to think about slavery as being something that was in the past and it was a long time ago, but it very much affects the way we as a nation have grown and how we have struggled with race relations since abolition. I believe the lack of knowledge of slavery in the North has left us ignorant. Um, and I do think that the North has to own up to what has taken place. There are burial grounds in New York City, some in Westchester County, where the slaves were buried. Why were these people here? How did they get here? Their bones and their remains are there. We have to pay attention to the records that people left us and to the little shreds of evidence that they left us about their lives. I think talking about real people, um, people that existed, enslaved people, we know who their, their names are. These are incredibly important stories. Knowing somebody's story can affect you and I think that's really important in the education of our humanity. Some of them left narratives in the colonial period, very few, but we get stories about them that lets us know that this was a person who had a family. This was a person who cared about somebody else in the world. This was a person who took pride in his work or took pride in her work. And to think about them as whole people even though they were also property. I do think the North will come to terms with its history of enslavement. People are finally ready to really confront the history of slavery in all of its implications. I think the website is going to also help in the teaching learning process. And the more people learn, the more they listen, the more it will help change.